this photo, we can see a woman snapping a picture of herself. Everything looks normal until you see the figure standing to the right of her. Not much information has been released, but we can see what looks like a pale-faced figure standing behind her. One witness said the following about the encounter. I have seen many photos like this before, and I think it's real. Whether you call it a ghost, I think these things are trying to communicate with us. That's why sometimes people will see objects move. They're trying to get our attention. In my old house, we had a ghost that would close doors and move objects on the table. We later found out that a person had passed away in the house. I think the person that passed on was trying to let me know they were still in the house. Another witness who viewed the photo had this to say. I think this is a demon. The way it looks and the way it's standing is very menacing. The eyes are also lifeless. Sometimes with normal hauntings you can make out features of a loved one, but all I can see in this picture is emptiness. A 2015 survey by Chapman University found that more than 40% of Americans believe places can be haunted. Ghosts and hauntings seem to be a relatively common part of the human experience, and there appear to be several types of ghosts or hauntings, and more than one theory might be needed to explain them all. The traditional view of ghosts is that they are the spirits of people that for some reason are stuck between this plane of existence and the next, often as a result of some tragedy or trauma. Many ghost hunters and psychics believe that such earthbound spirits don't know they're dead. Occasionally someone will have a one-time encounter of the ghost of someone they knew who's recently passed away. Many skeptics believe that haunting experiences are the products of the individual's mind. Ghosts they say are a psychological phenomenon. We see them because we expect to or want to see them. A grieving widow sees her husband because she needs to. She needs the comfort of knowing that he is alright and happy in the next world. Her mind produces the experience to help itself cope with the stress of the loss. Since we know so little about the power and capacity of our own minds, it's possible they can even produce physical manifestations, such as apparitions, noises and even projections. So what do you guys make of this photo? Does it show a real paranormal entity? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.